hey, so you want to know exactly how Elite Algo works and what makes it tick, what makes it really good. So this is going to be my review of Elite Algo and a couple of things I'm going to go into is one, what is Elite Algo? How does it trade? And some of the major components of the Elite Algo system. So let's get started right away. So hello, my name is Keenan and I'm the creator of Wall Street Moses and in this channel we go over different trading education and teach people exactly how to win in the Forex crypto and stock market space. On top of that, I review different trading tools that will assist traders in being more efficient in trading and making trading just that much easier because the Wall Street Moses is our job to help people get to the other side and get to that promised land of being able to have profits being able to enjoy trading and really be a master in these markets. So with Elite Algo, Elite Algo is a full comprehensive system with multiple different layers that help traders and help them see the markets without them having to second guess on what's going on in the market. Now this is the Elite Algo website and I'll have a link to it in the description below, but it trades all types of markets it trades crypto it trades forex trades options you could do futures on it i trade commodities on it as well and i really like the way it goes the way that it ticks because there's a very specific way to really help traders see the markets and help them be efficient in trading but i want to show you just a couple components of the Elite Algo system. So let's take it to the chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go straight uh, from scratch. So that way you can see exactly how it builds up. When you get the Elite Algo system and you can only get it um, through the Elite Algo website. And I, like I said, I have that link in the description. But even if you try to look for it in TradingView, without you having the subscription, you're not going to even see it. The way you get it is you'll have to go on to your invite only once you purchase and you'll see elite algo there so i'm gonna start off with just the algorithm the main component of the indicator and there's multiple parts to it so let's open up the settings so one thing that i look at when i'm trading or looking at a software is one how much brain power could it save me in the process of trading because yes, I can look and identify a lot of different things with just the naked chart, but that still takes thinking. That still takes time to actually go about and do that. So when it comes to what I look for, I look for three different things. I look for trend of, of the asset. Then I look for where are high points of interaction structure. And then where is the momentum kicking in in the market? Those are the three different things that I look for, trend, structure, and momentum. So starting from the top, I like how the Elite Algo system starts with visualization. And what I mean by that is if I turn on the dashboard, and let me go ahead and I like to make it small and just leave it on its regular setting of simple. Then the dashboard pops up and it gives you trend, and momentum and even gives you multiple layers of the trend on multiple time frames. So let me actually increase it real quick so we can focus on that. So you have, it tells you what strategy you're currently doing, where your settings are in the market. We're gonna get into that in just a second. Then it tells us what it, it is suggesting for you to trade. So right now it has a counter trend trade out for a buy even though the trend is bearish. And it's telling you how strong the trend is, because that can be a really hard component for people to see, is how strong trend is. You may be able to judge where the trend is going, but how reliable is that trend? And there's a lot of different factors and things that go on behind the scenes, just within the raw data of the market, that really tell you where trend is at and how strong it is. So Lee Algo does a great job of understanding trend, and where the volume is happening in the market is volume is going up. And if you can see, you know, since this morning, it made a last dip down and it's been the momentum shifted back up for the later part of the day. 
And I can only imagine during London session, you may have something of a breakout coming back up. But the elite algo is already ahead of the system and it's talking about the buy uh, on this particular, this particular setup. It's counter trend, but it's showing you that there is bullish momentum. And you can see um, just by looking at the handles that there's bullish momentum. Then you have the multiple time frames of trend. And this is really important, especially when you're down in the lower time frames, wanting to scalp. If you're scalping on a lower time frame without any recollection of what's going on in the higher time frame, your scalping is not going to be as effective. So having this in front of you while you're scalping, it's going to give you a great idea of where you are in the market and what you need to be looking for in the smaller time frames that are going to be lining up with the bigger time frames. So let's go to the next part of the Elite Argo system. So it's actually, we'll leave the dashboard on. We're just going to make it smaller. So obviously the show signals is going to make appear or disappear this smart sell, smart buy, you know, all the buy signals. You definitely want to always have that on. But here's what, here's what I like. You have different levels of trading. So you have the normal, which is what I use the most because it gives you just solid uh, entries and you can calibrate where the market is look where the algorithm is looking for in the market to confirm a trade And then you also have confirmed and with the confirm I'm gonna let that load You know, you're gonna have a different angle to take with the market. So a confirmed trade is Your more secure trades now these are gonna be really good Especially if you're more conservative in the market you see how it takes off the, uh, a lot of the noise as far as how many signals is given and where you're looking to take a trade. But it's not gonna give you as much uh, entries as maybe the normal mode is. And that's because that's a more conservative entry. Then you have what's called Trend Scalper. Trend Scalper is one that focuses more on the momentum of the markets. So I like to use Trend Scalper to confirm an entry for a bigger position. So for example, if I'm on the one hour and I'm looking at the market, let me actually stay right here. If I'm on the one hour and I'm looking at the market and I'm seeing if there's a potential sell happening, I want to wait. If I don't, if I want to get an earlier entry than what may be the normal mode or confirmation mode to give me, I'll go to the trend scout mode and on a smaller time frame and see that momentum kick in on a smaller time frame, be able to get into it earlier and get a really good position on a bigger trade. So that's something you can take with that because look at it, let's look at one of the changes. So here was a trend change or a momentum change, I'm gonna call it a trend. So you see here, right about, right where they all went green, right about here, on the close of this candle, there was a trend change. Now this is NAS, I wouldn't really trade based off of the 15 minute NAS on my personal trading, but let's say on a Forex pair, you know, that's a very good uh, place to get in on in the 15 minute if you're intraday trading. But if you're going into the markets, you can see that that on that small time frame that change of momentum, and you can get that entry and you can look for those two to one, three to one uh, reward to risk entries. So if you're looking here, you know, you can have something, maybe you go to the low of the last movement and you look for that two to one, three to one. And before it really slowed down, you had a two and a half to one reward to risk. You know, as long as you get the two to one right there, you've made a successful trade. And outside of those init that initial pullback, you had a really, really good entry. Now, obviously, you know, it's gonna be much smoother if you're going into the trend, like where this is right here. So, for example, at the close of, let me show you this candle here. You know, it was, it turned all the way back red. You could have got in at that point and you still could have got a, a decent reward to risk. So right at the top, you would have put your stop loss and then down here, you know, you would have got your one-to-one, -one, so you would have been in a good trade. And then it went as far as about 1.3 to one. But, you know, that just gives you an idea. Theoretically, I don't really get in on huge candles. 
because that kind of puts you a little bit ahead of where you want to be in the market, but you get the idea. So moving on to the next part, you have the sensitivity. Now this is where, let me go back and switch it to the normal mode right here, because that's going to give you the biggest uh, view when it comes to using sensitivity. So the sensitivity is how much needs to happen in the market for the elite algo to give you a trade. So give you a, an entry or a signal based off of its many calculations. So the normal is three. Now for me, the best way that I like to uh, start off, I usually start off with about a 1.7 and then I zoom out. So let me actually do that while that's loading. I zoom out and I see um, where in the market, you know, according to trend, is it giving me the trades and is it giving me false signals at that sensitivity level? So if I look at the last, so if I go from here over, right, before the trend changed, uh, from here over, I look at the trend. I look at all the sell positions. I want most of them to look like good orders or good positions. So I look here, and this is something that you can do when you first start trading a pair, because with Elite Algo, it focuses on getting you good entries on specific pairs that you have it on, because you don't want to you know, be going too much back and forth with Elite Algo because Elite Algo is really good at maximizing your pair. So going into it, these positions look pretty good. Looks like I could have just took the trade just based off the entry and made some pretty good money in the markets just taking the signals. You know, obviously you want to have, you know, some more confirmations, but if you can get a good visual on just the signal itself of the software doing its job, then you know you have some pretty good settings. Now, what I see is I think I would want to take it up just a little bit as I get into here. because I see that I get a couple later entries um, right here. Still, it's pretty decent, but you get a couple later entries here. You don't have to make it perfect, but you can kind of, if you feel like you're getting too many um, if you're getting some false signals, you want to take the sensitivity and put it back up. But, so I'm gonna do 1.9, just a little bit more and see if some of those uh, trades actually disappear that I want to disappear. Okay, perfect. So that actually does what I was looking for. That's how you work with the sensitivity. You just kind of play with it based off of, you know, what you're looking at on the charts and go off of there. So, I'm going to put it to 1.6 and just leave it there for a second. I'm going to show you why just in just a second. So going down, there's multiple different areas in the market uh, when it comes to consolidation, when it comes to momentum, volume, a lot of different things. These next five components help you filter out the signals based off of when there isn't a good you know, market or a good place in the market to take a trade or to just give you the best opportunities up front. So the first one is your consolidation signals filter. And what this does is when the market is consolidating, it's not going to give you those signals uh, during consolidated markets. It kind of filters out uh, when the market is kind of, you know, left to right. So you saw, you know, I think there was a couple of signals in here where there was a lot of up and down and it took those signals away and waited for the market to open up more. And those are the signals that remain when the market is giving you a bigger range of motion. The next part is smart signals only. And I'm going to take off the consolidation filter. So the smart signals, these are going to be your more confirmed entry so you have the if you go back to the different settings if you have the normal mode and the confirmed mode this is kind of smart signals only is kind of in between normal and confirmed so with this you can get a good number of trades but still be a little bit conservative of what trades and i like that combination because it's not going to keep me out of the market too long uh, but it's going to give me some good opportunities to interact with the markets right there then you also have the candle colors. 
So you can see, you can have it just go based off a trend and it'll tell you what the trend is just based off the color of the candles. Now what you're gonna see when you first do it is probably not gonna look correct because you have to actually change the candle settings on TradingView for it to show. So what I like to do, I have, I have a, a template for color bars just in general for TradingView. If you need an indicator to show color better, what you do, you see on here, I take the color out of the body and then you take off the borders. So that's all you really gotta do. Take the color out of the body and, and disable borders. You can leave the wicks how you like them and continue just off of that. Now, with the candle set up that way, you can clearly see the different colors of the trend. It's just red for downtrend, green for uptrend. But you can see that very clearly. So if you were a little bit confused on the way that it captures trend here, you can also see it from the candles. And also the way that I use is I use the trend wave to also determine trend if I don't have the candles as well. So there's multiple ways. You're not gonna miss trend with the lead algo. So going into the next part of it is gonna go into momentum candles. And what momentum candles do is it shows you where the momentum is happening in the market. So in a sideways market, what it's gonna do is gonna show you the gray candles. So that way you know, hey, this is a time in the market where it may not be doing as much uh, when it comes to the market itself. So during those moments, if you're looking for like maybe breakout trading, that type of stuff, uh, it may not be the best time for that. So that's really simple in itself. The next part is high volume signals. So high volume signals is, let me take it off of smart signals because you don't want to put all of them together. I mean, you can, but you'd be really, really specific. The high volume signals only, it's going to tell you where the volume is kicking in the market. So, this, so if you're a volume trader, you trade a lot of volume entry level things, you can use this to maybe confirm your volume trades or confirm breakout trades. So you can even fuse some market structure intraday type trading into this type of uh, software, this type of mode with the lead algo. So this is something that you can use to see, okay, which way is the volume going? If we're getting big, a lot of orders in a certain area, um, I like to have it to where like say something like this right here where you know you're getting downward momentum then all of a sudden you have large volume coming in but you see the candles are a little bit weaker but then you see it change back to the trend that's a volume order block and that's an institutional um, indication of what's going on in the market so when i see something like that using this type of candle where it just quickly changes color and changes right back then those are going to be some really good entries where you can catch some good trades. And as you can see from that point on, it just melts it down. So just something to help out with using volume candles. The next part is you're going to have your risk management. So this is going to kind of give you a trailing stop loss percentage. And, you know, trailing stop losses is, you know, it'll help you kind of give you a guide of where to move up your stop loss. Um, I kind of have my own way of doing it myself, but for someone who doesn't really have a huge risk management plan, this is a very still simple and effective system that you can use. Swing low and swing highs. This is something that I like a lot because I'm a market structure trader. I like looking at the structure of the trade, structure of the markets before getting into a trade. And a setting that I like to use with the swing low and swing highs, I like to go up to one of the more uh, conservative settings. So it's not giving me counting every little thing. I want to only see the more important stuff. So you see, let me actually take off the take profit indicators. But as you can see, it'll give you the higher highs and higher and lower lows and things like that. I like to look at that because if I don't want to, you know, visually look at it myself or if someone is not as 
uh, adapt into knowing where's the low and where's the high, they can use that and trade market structure. And if you're uh, new to market structure, don't really know how to trade it, I'll put a link in the video or a link on the top right card and you'll be able to see exactly how to trade market structure and it's the core component of how I personally trade. So combining market structure with this is a very, very effective way to use the Eliago system. So let's switch it back to normal so we can kind of see uh, where we like to go with the market. So let's go to the trend cloud. Trend cloud is just going to be this part right here. It shows you you know, the wider the cloud, the stronger the trend, the thinner the cloud, the more weaker the trend, and what color the cloud is, is what the trend is. So a red cloud is going to be for downtrend, the up cloud is going to be green. But here is something I always have on, it's trend only signals, because I only trade with trend. I don't, I'm not really concerned with counter trend trades. I think, me personally, I do quite fine with just looking for the trend and not trying to time the markets for reversals, even though doing a reversal every now and then can be fun, is also very risky. You know, it's more of a drilling pump from guessing the right area. But that's gonna give you just the trend, and I like that, like this looks like, we go back, this looks very clean. Very, very clean. Um, so, I know what the trend is, like I know if I see a, a lower low and I see a, a sell signal, you know, I might be getting a good area of selling. Very, very simple. That's what a lead dollar makes, makes happen. But the next part, I'm just going to go over just a little bit of the, the consolidation areas. So for me, I like understanding where my points of consolidation are so I know what not to trade. And you can paint it as well so you see how it shows you those consolidation areas and people like to do break and retest off of these consolidation areas which are pretty effective as well uh, to where you wait for for example you wait for the breakout of a a pair so something like this so you have a breakout and you just wait for the break and retest so you have a touch right here you would get in at the close of the candle and that would have been a nice little move up or you can do it with the trend and you see it breaks out this is the the last downward consolidation it breaks out of that with this candle retest it here and within trend it gives you a bigger a bigger jump so that's one way of using the consolidation candles so the, like i said whatever trader you are this can help you now this is one of my favorites very much one of my favorites and i'm gonna end it off with this is the order block i love institutional trading and order blocks are an institutional level where the market likes to be at play uh, in the system so what i mean by that is these order blocks are going to be levels in the market that the market makers or large institutions could be working at and these levels are very high value, support, resistance, really supply and demand zones. Uh, I wouldn't really think of it necessarily support resistance, but more so points in the market that can cause and start a great move. So looking at the chart right now, if I get some momentum coming back down now, but looking at the order blocks from here, is this could be a good area to sell. But if it breaks that, which I think it will, uh, I really love this area for my next level of selling in the market and once I get there and I see re, you know some wicks like this I'm selling so having that on is probably one of my biggest things with Elite Algo having this, the trend only and having the order box with the the high lows and lower highs that's my personal method like this is the way that I particularly trade Elite Algo but other than that the rest of the settings is pretty uh, self-explaining. Uh, um, so you have your demand boxes, you have your, you know, just your colors that you want to use. But that's basically the entire for the Elite Algo. The last part of Elite Algo is just the just the oscillator, and the oscillator just helps you out with seeing divergence and momentum in the markets. So. 
One way that I like to use it is I see something like this where I have bearish divergence. So after that bearish divergence is I look for my next sell signal and after the divergence I take the signal and that's a great trade. So for example, I look for another bearish divergence right here. So you get a bearish divergence right after you get a sell signal from here. So from here down, that was a pretty good solid move. So that's why I always keep that on there as well. And then once I, in another way is when I see that, now this may be counterintuitive, but it's very effective. I see that the green bar has made its way up, but the trend hasn't changed. And then I get a, like say, you know, like it has to go high. But then I get another sell signal after it peaks. That's a great way. I think of it like a roller coaster. It gets really high, that means it's gonna come down faster. That's the way I look at it. But this is the complete walkthrough of the Elite Algo mode. Like the oscillator is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It has multiple levels of the uh, time frame. And then from there you can see, you know, more types of divergences. You can change the period on the elite breakout filter. So a lot of different things you can play with here, but the main thing is the elite algo. I like it. I, I think it's a nine out of 10. Now what would make it a 10 out of 10 for me is if we could get color changes for bullish and bearish candles in the trend candle mode. Like I, I'm not a fan of it being all one color. I like seeing, like, it could be a different color set. So it could be a darker color set for bearish, it could be a, a lighter color set for bullish. And I can still see the bullish and bearish candles within the trend. Other than that, you know, this is a well-made, very comprehensive system. And just off the indicator itself, you can get a lot of opportunities in the markets.